this particular study was focused on this, the most uh, external layer of the middle temporal gyrus called layer one. And in there we found about 16 different types of cells um, in layer one of the middle temporal gyrus. And so now what we're doing is we're expanding that analysis to cover all of the different cortical layers of that region of the, of the brain. And we've already discovered on the order of 75 different types of neuronal and non-neuronal cells in this region of the brain. And we're now working on a comparison of all of these cell types that we've discovered in human brain to see how many of those do we think we can detect in mouse brain? And what are the, what are the common cells and what are the unique cells in human? Ultimately, I think what we wanna be able to do is be able to link these unique cells that we're discovering with unique characteristics of humans like cognition and those kinds of things. And I think that's kind of the holy grail in this kind of study is to be able to take this very detailed molecular information about these neuronal cell types and link that with what we know that's unique about um, humans and, and how we think and how we work.